does anyone genuinely believe a word that comes out of a celebrity's mouth at this point? There's a reason they call them actors. They are merely puppets for a greater purpose, whatever that means. Yeah, they say they eat this and that, and they're probably taking baths in baby's blood. Who knows what they're actually eating, perhaps caviar every single meal. On the other hand, they don't actually look that good. So, you know, there is a, a, a pretty decent chance that they're actually following these nonsense diets that they think are healthy. But let's take a look. Hi, my name is Nina Dobrev, and this is everything that I eat in one day. Mama needs some coffee, some real strong, strong coffee. So the next thing I do is get up. No, then I pee. Then I go to the kitchen. I make the strongest coffee. Sometimes I even have two coffees. Like I'll finish the coffee and it's not enough. I do a, spread, a shot of espresso and then I do a regular coffee and I mix them together. I use almond milk and then I'll do a packet or two of stevia. And that's kind of my morning routine. So when you're drinking that much coffee consistently, you're just destroying your adrenals. It's horrible, horrible, horrible for female fertility. You're likely dousing your gut in low quality water, low quality coffee beans, full of anti-nutrients, fluoride, chlorine. One of the worst things you could really start your day with. And we have a whole video in depth on coffee. The real solution is have a super high quality espresso, you know, which not only cuts the caffeine in less than half, you know, you want to make sure the water is good quality, the beans are good quality, you're removing any potential agrochemical concerns. After I have my coffee, breakfast varies. If it's just me, I'm low maintenance and I just got to get it done. So I'll do a protein shake and I make my shakes at home. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I grab a banana from the freezer. I freeze my bananas so that they make the mixture a lot more um, like thicker. It's a little bit thicker. I don't like my shakes really watered down and gross. I also add avocado, which helps with the thickness again. Almond butter, not peanut butter. I'm not allergic, but just don't, just doesn't work. They give me inflammation. Then I'll put spinach and arugula in there. I put collagen. Hum Nutrition makes this like vitamin. It's like a beauty vitamin. You throw that in the shake too. How's that working? I think that's it. Your hair's falling like out. On the machine and it does its magic and voila. So she used the almond milk in her coffee and as a base for this protein shake. It's basically almonds blended up with water and almonds aren't really healthy. And just like this whole day of eating, it's a modern health food that people don't realize is actually bad for you. You know, what do almonds offer from a nutritional perspective? A small amount of minerals, omega-6 fatty acids, not good. They're high in anti-nutrients. They use so many chemicals to grow them. When these vegans talk about the environment, but don't mention that half their foods take like five gallons of water or something crazy to just grow one nut, it doesn't make any sense. And that doesn't include all of the chemical additives they put in these almond milks to make them taste reasonable. Because as a natural food, not something humans should actually be eating, almonds don't taste good. And the other stuff she added falls in line with foods that people think are healthy but are not actually healthy. You know, if the banana was organic, the avocado was organic, it might be okay, but you're basically just adding carbohydrate calories, some fat calories, no B vitamins, no real animal protein, no animal nutrition. She added some supplements, which are really just a mix of chemicals and powders that aren't doing anything for you. I always tell people, if you take something and you don't feel it working, it's not working. You know, if something genuinely works, you're going to feel a difference when you take it. If I'm having a relaxing morning or if it's a Saturday or a Sunday, I will typically go all out. I'll have eggs, whether they're scrambled or I do sunny side up. I do like my eggs runny. If I can't dip it, I don't want it. Gotta dip it. Yeah. I toast gluten-free bread. I found out later in life, after not feeling well for so many years, I, that was just my normal. Like I just ate food and didn't feel great and found out that my body doesn't do well with gluten. I don't do well with dairy products. The real reason people can't tolerate dairy and gluten is because how our modern foods are grown. You know, the cows on a conventional farm are getting so much crap in their diet that translates directly to the milk. So when you drink it, you're essentially poisoning yourself. Same with modern wheat. But when you go higher quality, when you go organic, raw grass-fed milk, better strains of wheat, 
you can consume those foods while tolerating them just as good as eating a steak. After the eggs and the toast, I'll also do some steamed spinach or I like to have apple sausages. You, when you go to the store, they have these like apple sausages and I like to cut them up into little pieces, put them on the, the pan. I leave them on for way too long if they're not. Does anyone genuinely believe that a celebrity is eating low quality, crappy pork sausage from a supermarket, especially conventional eggs? Now, we know she has to be buying the highest quality stuff, but she's just not talking about it because these foods are full of antibiotics, chemicals, estrogen bombs, super duper high in omega-6, the pork and the eggs. No way she's actually eating this stuff. Burnt, I don't want them. I'll dip them into maple syrup. I'll have them with my eggs, put that on the gluten-free toast with the egg and the sausage and a little bit of arugula if I have it. I'm a big arugula girl. The green makes Don't it healthy? Don't know why, just like the, it's so like light and fresh and green and just. Yeah, she thinks it's healthy. It in my mouth. And that's my morning breakfast, if I'm feeling fancy. I lied. I also like pancakes. Simple Mills makes pancake mix, which is gluten-free. I'll mix that with blueberries, banana, sometimes some chocolate. And then when they come out, they're all gooey and delicious. And just another subtle sponsorship, throwing all these companies and brands in here, probably getting paid a lot of money to do this nonsense video. And you notice how we're not actually in her kitchen filming what she's eating because <laughs> she probably doesn't do this. They just ask her questions, tell her what to say, and then put pictures up next to her. It's just and then I put more maple syrup on it. So I don't usually cook my lunches myself. We'll do Postmates, Grubhub, or one of those apps. A lot of the time I'll order from a place called Fresh Corn Grill. I get the Fresh Corn Grill salad, but with no corn, which is weird because it's the Fresh Corn Grill salad, but I take out the corn. In the afternoons, and actually just throughout the day, I snack a lot. There was a period of time that I was working with a trainer who told me you have to eat every two hours so that your metabolism keeps working. And so That's like conventional bro science. And when people are eating that frequently, when they're not a bodybuilder, when they're not taking heaps and heaps and heaps of drugs for muscular hypertrophy, it just means they're not getting enough animal nutrition, B vitamins, saturated fats in their regular meals. So that's kind of how I live my life, whether it's almonds or there's these little made good products. I mean, how many brands is she gonna name drop in this video? Come on. And they have these little baggies with granola in them that are also gluten-free safe. I just have to have something in my belly. If I'm hungry or thinking about food, I can't focus on my work and I really like to work at a high level constantly. I'm a bit of a workaholic. It's a problem. You know, you sound like you need some coffee. But it's also effective. Now that the pandemic is slowly coming to an end and things are slowly opening, I've gone out to dinner maybe two or three times, which was a weird experience. So a lot of the time I cook at home and in the pandemic, I exclusively cooked at home. I have a couple of go-tos, but I love, love, love trying new recipes. I'll crack open a cookbook and one of my favorites is Chrissy Teigen's cookbook. I'll just close my eyes. They, they, these people, they're like, <sighs> How could you live like that? Just be a person and everything that comes out of your mouth is something that someone else paid you to say. Eyes and flip the pages and then just stop at one page and whatever it says, I'll go out and grab the ingredients and try to make whatever it is and destroy my kitchen in the process. <laughs> and then as for snacks, like nighttime snacks or desserts or treats, I'm not a big sweets person. I can't eat a lot of them because most desserts have gluten and especially dairy in them. Every now and then, I will at that point crave sweets. It's only one week out of the month where I actually want a sweet thing. My go-to are smart treats. They look like Swedish fish and they kind of taste like Swedish fish, but they're to me guilt-free because they don't have really high sugars in them and they're just really delicious. And they're It's literally conventional modern health wisdom of starving yourself to death, but keeping your stomach full. And there's a reason, you know, her hair doesn't look that good. And I mean, she's wearing so, so much makeup. It's maybe eat some animal proteins and B vitamins, you'll start looking better. They're my, they're my guilty pleasure. And then of course, when 
I'm trying to unwind and relax. I will invite some friends over and we'll have some of my wine. I started a wine company with my best friend, Julian Huff. It's called Fresh uh, Wine Wine. If anything, I no guess one that's a shitty my wine. guilty pleasure, sweet craving at the end of the night. And that's basically everything I eat in one day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm really... That was horrible. Well... Yeah, you go into a video thinking it's just going to be some conventional, modern health wisdom that they're shoving down your throat so people starve to death, lose all their brain cells, or easier to control. And while doing that, she's also selling eight different brands, her own products, her friends' products. They're all in bed together. They don't have your interest at heart. And as we've concluded in these past day of eating reviews recently all these people are focused on is padding their own bank accounts at the expense of the masses they don't want you healthy they don't want you feeling good they don't want the competition so thank you guys for joining me today if you could please drop a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe so that youtube can unsubscribe you next week and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos thanks again for joining me guys i'll see you for tomorrow